So this is a very simple potential divider circuit. What we have are two resistors. Uh, in this case, it's an LDR and a, a fixed resistor. And what they do is they share the potential difference of the power supply up here. And when it comes to setting this up as one of your practical tasks, obviously you've got the normal pieces of equipment, you know, you've got various meters, uh, bits of wire and so on. And by now at this stage, doing A-level physics, you should be able to set up a straightforward circuit like this. But what you're gonna be doing is uh, optimizing the circuit to use a non-ohmic device as a sensor. Now something which is non-ohmic means that it changes its resistance uh, and if you have an LDR its resistance changes when you have a different light uh, and the thermistor can be used in place and that changes with temperature. And you should remember a graph that looks a bit like this. And what you'll find is that the light intensity increases, the resistance of this component decreases. And that means that if you have a fixed value of power, you know, sorry, fixed uh, potential difference here, a fixed voltage across the terminals, the share of uh, that potential difference going to each component is gonna change depending on the resistance. So if you have a certain value to begin with, as the light intensity increases, the resistance goes down and that takes less of a share. And that means that the potential difference across this component should increase. And what you can do is you can use uh, that information uh, and a voltmeter, which is effectively gonna represent an external part of the circuit where maybe something else turns on. It might be that when the light goes down, you want another external light to come on, so you need a bigger voltage across uh, the other component. And what you need to do is think about how you can optimize that by using uh, the right value of resistor here to match that component. And of course you can do exactly the same if you have um, a potential divider circuit set up with a thermistor and the thermistor has the same kind of components but rather than having light on the bottom what you have instead is the temperature, so there's theta for temperature, and as the temperature goes up, the resistance goes down. And again, you can use this in, uh, in place in your circuit over here, and you can uh, basically uh, often actually uh, put this to different extremes of temperature, perhaps by using ice, uh, to go to something approaching zero degrees, or perhaps using a Bunsen burner or a kettle uh, to have some water which is um, approaching 100 degrees. And what you can then do is try and optimise the design of this circuit here by using the right value of resistor to get as wide a range of uh, values across the, um, the, the voltmeter in that circuit as possible. So good luck with the practical. There are so many variations and ways to set this up, but effectively what you're doing is you're using whichever LDR or whichever thermistor you've been given at school. You can then use that to find uh, a way to get the, the widest range of values on your voltmeter, uh, depending upon the, the external conditions outside that circuit. So good luck.